All right, so we're gonna we're gonna play this. We're gonna play uh, against the Connecticut Sun. Twenty six and zero. Minnesota Lynx go up against the thirteen and eleven Connecticut Suns. Here. Um, hopefully we can continue. Uh, Kayla McBride's. Uh, hold on. Hopefully we can continue Kayla McBride's uh, MVP campaign. They might give it to Aja Wilson, but I don't know. That's beyond me. With all due respect. And we're thrilled to have you with us. All right, guys, what can we expect from this matchup between two perimeter-centric teams? Well, and they hit a three on us right out the gates. And a lot of cool beans. Because both sides are going to try and free up shooters and create good looks from beyond the arc. Yeah, and I think you want to limit those open looks. It's going to come down to... Caleb McBride for three. Got it. Caleb McBride. Hits her first through the game. She... She's your career leader and a uh, season leader. She's the season record holder, record holder, for most threes in a single season. That's why. Miss it. She's the last decade. The 2010s. It was an up and down 10 seasons for the Connecticut Sun, winning one playoff round in the first seven years of the 2010s. Here's McBride. Another shot. Lays there we go, Pre Natalie Achanwa with the putback. I was sure they were going to give me that foul call with Kayla McBride, but they did not, unfortunately. They were really good in the back half of the decade. Yeah, 20 plus wins in the final three years of the 2010s, culminating with a finals appearance in 2019. The Sun franchise is really turning things around. Right outside. Pass to Jefferson. Back to McBride. Collier. Collier for three. The shot's Woo! McBride making the play. Because of Collier's ability to Collier for the three, floor, assist McBride. Outside Sims. Picked by Jones. Sims with it. He's picked up by Achanwa. And Kayla McBride runs up the court. Goes past Courtney Williams. Lays it up and in. Five points. Kayla McBride's averaging 23.3 points a game. And here's her career, uh, her yeah, career high so far. Pass to Williams. Vadiva. Here's Jones. To stop the run. And she no, the come on. Three of four from the floor to start. And that's a good sign. Collier outside. Poke loose. Pass to Fowles. Great Fowles pass. lays it up and in. Sylvia Fowles comes through. Fantastic job of analyzing. Twelve to eight for your Minnesota Lynx. Seven to four remaining in the first. Outside Sims. Shot clock at five. Goes up from the top of the key. And again, it's Connecticut. Great speed by Sims. With her court vision, she knows where all her teammates are. Jesus Christ. Leading. First quarter of action and just under three and a half minutes. Sylvia Fowles lays it up and in again. She has four points so far. She's not really a... She's really our fourth or fifth option. Hold on. Let the dog out one more time. The dog just exactly keeps complaining. But we let her go through. Outside Williams. Jones outside. Sims jacks up a three. The offensive rebound. She makes that one. I don't understand how. Okay. I mean, that's just a hustle play on the putback. A 
Achanwa the screen. McBride with the ball. And it's Jones picking her up. Really, Achanwa? Uh, that was like a... a... <laughs> Outside, Williams. Pass to Jones. Sims. She's covered by Jefferson. Sims with the bucket. How does she hit that? And that'll tie this game up. Using a creative skill set to get buckets, Sims is dependable with the ball in her hands. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. Uh, just tremendous intensity going downhill on that drive. Love the attack. A Chanwa. Nice little bucket there. Four points, two rebounds, and a steal for Natalia Chandler. Never gives in, never gives up, and that's what it takes to be a great offensive rebounder. Now here's Williams. Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game. The second chance ever. What? All right, I'm getting tired of this. And it's on Mariah Jefferson. She's getting her first free throw attempts of the night. And the sun making it. I don't know. They're just giving them every foul call. Find that to be ridiculous. That has to be one of the highest scoring first quarters I've ever seen. Forty-five, forty-four. All right, Kayla and Nafisa both lead the lead, lead the team with eight points so far. Pass to Shepherd. One, two. Ah. Using the post there we go. Jessica Shepherd with the bucket. With the Assist by Zay Zaya Cook. Sure Yo, where does Zaya Cook's legs go? She's disappeared. Okay, there it is. To the inside, Vadiva doesn't go for her. Some solid defense from Demiris Dantas. Cook. Zaya Cook lays it up and in. The rookie out of South Carolina doing work right now. An assist and the bucket right here. And her legs are disappearing again. What the hell? And here is Sims. She has seven. Harrington. They set the screen. Dantas with the steal. Pass to Shepard. <laughs> what if I told you guys that I thought... Out to the wing. Cook. Cook from way downtown. Got it. Another three. She found the perfect spot. Saya Cook. It's living up to her last name. She's cooking right now. Eight point game for your Minnesota Lynx. This second unit has been phenomenal. Will it go? Pass to Bediva. Six to shoot. Oh, jump ball. Oh. Little little feistiness right now. Dungey covered by Carrington to the right side. Shepard the screen to the wing on the left. Three pointer. Zaya Cook again for three. Got it. That's just great ball movement. And that's keep this run. Wow. Passing it with the purpose. And they're going to call timeout. Zaya Cook has been the show right now. He's putting on one today. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Fifty-five, forty-four. Ariel Powers has been for Chelsea Dungey. Nice pass. She got that ball right into her teammate's shooting pocket, 
and it yielded great results. Shepard, the screen. Here's Powers. And, the and Powers with a tough bucket. I really like that. I Ten points for Ariel Powers. Their movement down low has just been great. Zach Cook has 14 points, 4 assists, and 2 blocks? Yeah, she's on one right now. Exactly. They've generated easy opportunities inside. Oh, deep, that's in. that was just buckets. Field goal, and she's shooting a hot 71%. 5 for 7. Aerial Powers on the wing. For 3, Aerial Powers. Doesn't get it. Here's Dantas. Well, what I like about foul, Maria Vendiva with the foul call. Dantas shoots two. Dantas is averaging about six points a game, which isn't much, but considering that she shares playing time with Natalia Chamwa for that power forward slash center position. And she's kind of like our second scorer. A WNBA champion in her own right. Bantam, we brought her back. Out to the wing. Shepard, the screen. Down to five on the shot clock. From outside the Powers for three. Got it. Powers. 13 points for Ariel Powers. And now it's 62-49. The second unit is going crazy behind Zara Cooks and Ariel Powers. Dantas with the block. Shoots it up to Powers. Powers rolls. Fires. Scores. 15 points for Ariel Powers right now. The sixth woman. First, the first player off the bench is doing work right now. It was a close game, but now the second unit is going crazy right now. Cloudin. Jessica Shepard. Oh, Vendiva puts it up in him. She's so good at recognizing where the openings are and getting that ball to the rim. Outside powers. It's stolen by Carrington. Oh! She hit the buzzer on me. No! Ah! No way. Links ahead, up 11. And we'll see you right after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. That was heartbreaking. She hit that shit on me, bro. Getting back to the action now. It's been a one-team show so far, but we'll see if that changes. You gotta like what Powers has done in this game. Well, she created a lot of good shots for herself in the first couple of quarters. And she knows when to pass up on the tough ones. Good shot selection. And that led to a very high points per shot number for her. And that's a stat that really tells you there we how go. efficient a player has been. And as we begin the second half, first half wasn't even close. And we'll see if there is a comeback on our hands or more of the same as we get the third started. And it's Sims with the Damn it, Sims! Foul. Leave me alone. That's foul number two for her. First team foul. All right. Hey, let me live, bro. Now here's Jefferson. She's guarded closely. A respected defender, Jones makes quality reads and adjusts her coverage accordingly. 
Just five on the clock. Why are you posting up over there? Here's McBride. No luck. They Sylvia, why the fuck are you posting up over there? Jefferson with the steal. What the f Now here is Sims. Outside Williams, high post try, and the shot goes in. It was just like a clusterfuck of bullshit. That's what it was. McBride left side. Fouls. There we go, Fouls. The second she got around the pick and shook her man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very well done. Outside Williams. Pass to Jones. Outside for Sims. Now here's Williams. Clock at six. Over McBride. Misses off the left iron. We don't see that too often. Plenty of space and she whips on an open jumper. Damn. Gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots. Next. An unpredictable creator with a variety of moves. McBride drives. Ten points for Caleb. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. I think Caleb's got like two or three assists. She's got two. Ten points and two assists. She's only played ten minutes, so she basically played one quarter. I don't like that. I'm trying to get her 30 minutes, but they're not letting me get her 30 minutes. Over Jefferson, and it's Sims missing. Man, and they're one for four to start the second half. The drive by Caleb McBride. The second shot opportunity. Yes. There we go. A non-stop worker. McBride knows. How McBride to puts it up and in. 12 point game. I mean, 12 point. 12 point game for her. And they're gonna call a timeout. And the Sun call time here. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Pass to Jones. Sims. Six on the shot clock. Jefferson with the steal. One on one fast break. McBride up top. She's guarded by Williams. McBride with the ball. Okay, call it up for three. Got it. Always looking for holes in the three assists for Caleb. I know you want to come in. It's hot outside for you, buddy. The fact that I left her open and they didn't do anything. Says a lot. Out of the United States to win the award in more than 10 years, Jones making a giant impact on both ends. Of the and Sons are going to call another timeout. And during that MVP season, Jonquil Jones did a little bit of everything. Yeah, traditional stats wise, I mean, she led the league in rebounding, top five in scoring, top 10 in blocks, and then some of the more advanced metrics. She led the league in defensive rating. So 2021, it was just an incredible season for Jones. So both teams making some changes here. JP on the bump. Hey, hey, 
Here's Williams. Rebound by the Lynx. Boy, I mean, they can do nothing right. They cannot take the lid off. They need a bucket in the worst way possible. They have got to stop this run somehow, or it's really going to get out of hand. Here's Fouls. The shot's good. There we go. Kayla McBride making the play. You know, you look at the stats, the assist totals, they just jump out at you. They're way Kayla McBride. And this third quarter has four points and four assists. All movement has been key. It's just a different mindset. So she's been running this offense. Right side Sims. To the paint. The kick out to Williams. Five on the clock. Over McBride. And again, no good by Connecticut. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. It certainly Kayla McBride lays it up and in. 14 point game. I'm 14 14 points for her. Don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and they keep scoring points. And you know, Brian, there's not really a lot you can do as a defense when they keep getting in the paint like they have been on this run. Here's Jones. Reigns the 19 footer. And with Jones, she has the threat of the three ball. And that's the basis for her game because it opens up the whole court for her on offense. Clears the way for monster, monster point totals like tonight. Pass to Dungey. Shoots the three. Chelsea Dungey for three. Links, another another three. one. I would prefer Mariah Jefferson out there, but it is what it is. Outside Williams. And here is Sims. Five to shoot. Jones outside. Williams launches it. The rebound by Dantas. She's gotten cold, and I'm not sure she's their best option offensively as they look to cut this deficit. Yeah, that's the art of the fast break, and it's McBride's willingness. I'm gonna have to try to get her some more buckets. 16. She only has 16 points and seven assists. So successful on plays like that. Pass to Jones. Williams. Outside to free. And Jones gets it to go. And she's having a quarter, converting at a high percentage. McBride with the ball. Williams there. Shot left block. Uh, oh, she hit that. <laughs> now Sims. And they've been struggling here offensively. Bit of a dry spell for sure. The rebound by Dantas. And this has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a very nice job of extending their lead. McBride outside. Down low. Odyssey Sims with the steal. Kicks it out to Jones. Back to Sims. Pass to Carrington. Now Jones. Fades. Bantam with the rebound. McBride left side. Foul call that time on the way up. And that will give her two chances at the free throw line. That's on 19 points. 
You see, this is what you get with Caitlin McBride. 20. You get a clever we're trying to get her at least 24. As long as you can get to 24, we're good, bro. She's done a much better job of getting to the line here in the second half. Remember, she didn't get there. There once in the first. To the wing, right side. Jones. That one's on target from the wing. Oh, she has really stepped it up this quarter. It looks like she's determined to get them out of this hole all by herself. Here's McBride. Pass to Jefferson. The screen by Collier. And here's Kayla McBride. McBride for three. Got it. Three-pointer is on target. It has been a three-point barrage for them since halftime. Yeah, I don't know if it's Let's go. by design or by accident, but either way, it's been impressive. Maybe the, the coach just went up to the locker room chalkboard and just uh, put a number three out there. Tried to come right back with the three of her own, but it's no good. Damn it. The shot will not fall. And it's the sun taking it the other way. She has 23. I'm trying to get her 24. Alright. Pass to Vediva. Connects on the foul line jumper. Textbook. Nice pass. Nice catch. Nice shot. And a drive by Kaylin McBride. Misses from Bro. range. Can you just let her get her 25th point? And here is Jones. Pick by Jones. Here's the three. Hands it from downtown. A gifted shooter for a player her size. Jones is a matchup nightmare. On the wing, Kayla McBride. The screen by Collier. So Thank God. On the shot, two free throws for the contact there. The first free throw is good. A unanimous selection to the WNBA All Rookie. There we go. Finally, 25. That's all I need. I just wanted 24, but we got 25. All right. She has 25 points, seven assists. Pretty good day. Now here's Williams. Pass to Jones. The kick out to Williams. Off target from outside. She can't get anything to drop. And the way she's going, it's probably not something she should try to, to shoot her way out of. And I'm sure her teammates would agree with that. You know, the last thing they want to see her. And then eight assists, so then. Yeah, 7.6. Let's go. And we're going to win. 120 to 91. Jefferson with it. From deep. This is there. So we see the Lynx taking the W here. The outcome of this one was never in doubt. They were really putting... Ariel Powers was the player of the game. And rightfully so. 21 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, a steal and a block. How did Brianna st <laughs> no, no.
I'm trying to wait to see who's first in MVP. That's what we're waiting for right now. Sabali ain't gonna be shit. Mobbery might be just something. Ooh, 83 points again. Damn it, Brad. Let's go. Damn near 80% from three. Come on. Let me see what I want to see. Was pounding? I don't, bitch, I don't care about that. Damn it, she's second place? Okay, I'll talk to everyone later.